All right, guys, the final part, uh, part three of my favorite maps. Uh, we're down to Moon and Shangri-La. Real quick, this is just a gameplay, two-player spawn challenge. You start on round 20, you got to try and survive the round. Doing this is a Jeff one-man army, so this is a fun game. Um, but anyways, Napalms and Streakers versus the Cosmonaut. I'd say the Napalms win. Uh, we're just kind of comparing Shang and Moon here. I mean, the Moon Easter Egg versus the Shang one. I thought the Moon one was really fun, much better. Then we got the minecart and slide versus the flying floating paths. Probably go with the minecart there, so Shang takes the edge there. But then you got flying due to lack of gravity is pretty badass and much better than flying on water, which was in Shang on those jet guns, water water jets. And uh, but the deciding factor, I mean, all all of them were close. I enjoyed all of them, uh, a lot of every part of the map. Uh, but the thing I really think that set Shangri La apart from Moon as my number one was the baby gun. So we'll go to Moon first as my number two. Um, hopefully you guys agree with this or hopefully it's up there. I know a lot of people complained, not complained, but noted, and I also agree that it was too big, it was too easy. It wasn't a challenge, you know, the, the Wonder Weapon was overpowered, and like I said, I agree with all that. But I still think people undervalue or don't uh, underestimate the significance or the, the risk Treyarch took in developing a map that they knew they were going to have zombies in Black Ops 2 or well they didn't even know it was going to be called Black Ops 2 at this point this is three years ago you know and uh, they knew they were going to have zombies in Black Ops 2 but they still decided to go for it all and go to the moon you know there's no other place you can go where there's limited gravity and you're flying around I thought they were going to mess it up at first with limited gravity, like you're going to be flying all over the place and you can't control yourself, but they made it work well that only, you know, if you jumped, which you rarely ever should need to in zombies, you would float. So, like, you could still easily control it and stay on the ground. So, uh, they, they did a fine job with that. Um, the Wonder Weapon was awesome. Wave Gun was awesome. Um, Easter Egg was a ton of fun. The floating pads were cool. The general environment of it, I really liked how it was like a like a, a base the fact that you could blow up the windows no man's land was huge and almost put this over the edge of shangri-la without no man's land i don't think this would have been the second favorite map but people also overlook that or at least uh many of the high round players or people who were good at no man's land and played it know how fun that know how much fun that was and uh going for you know the most kills in no man's land that was like a whole separate map in itself people spent more time on that than that one little first room that they did the entire uh entire time playing moon so uh that was definitely awesome no man's land whether it was doing challenges down there or trying to go for high rounds with just speed cola or uh high amount of kills with just speed cola it was definitely a good part of the, one of the best parts of moon but yeah like i mentioned the easter egg steps were just so cool like who didn't like playing samantha says like that was just fun to do every time you know watching the rockets launch listening to the quotes everything the storyline really came together at that time so it was a very very good easter egg so Moon overall is a sec my second favorite map of all time, and it lands a 9.5 out of 10 on my scale. So uh, that will bring us to number one, which is the only map left, Shangri-La. I couldn't tell you a negative about this map off the top of my head. Um, I thought the Easter egg was good. Easter egg was good, fun. I thought the setting was awesome. I really liked the jungle setting on, at, at, at sunset. Um, I just liked the caves. I liked the feel of the map. Just It really reminded me of... Well, Buried really reminded me of Shangri-La when it came out, but Barry got old a little quicker because it was all kind of the same brown, dusty color. But Shangri-La stayed new because they had outside areas that were bright. They had caves. You know, they had areas where water was running. Um, I thought the water slide and the minecart were the two biggest jumps in in-game in features in Zombies that took the biggest step forward by far. I mean, the moon, like actually going to the moon, the map of moon was better was a bigger jump for zombies in general, but in game mechanics I just thought the minecart was so cool and the water slide was so cool. Um, and then you got the spike moors were a sweet little addition. The way to turn on the power was fascinating to me. You know, it wasn't just one switch anymore. It ran on ran on the ran on the water of the temple. The little monkeys that a lot of people complain about I thought was a great they did a great job, you know, incorporating the free perk into timing that created for Lots of fun challenges trying to do like no power challenge, just trying to get the perks out of the monkeys. Good first room, four windows, good running room. A lot of people complained it was too small, but I just think that's kind of bogus um, because I thought it was a good size. It had tight alleyways, but lots of areas to run. You know, I, I could name four or five, you know, the power, 
the spawn room, the bottom AK, or the bottom MPL, the top MPL, the AK-47. You know, if you really wanted to run someone, you could run a small group in front of the water slide. It was a tight map, tight alleyways, but you know, you could run a lot of people in there. I thought they incorporated that so well. And then the baby gun, by far my, not by far, but a little bit better than the wave gun and the, my favorite weapon, most favorite weapon of all time. Um, I just love that you could shrink the zombies and then stop on them. And then I also just thought it was the best wonder weapon simply because it wasn't too overpowered. It wasn't like a thunder gun where if you're trapped in a corner, you shoot it and you're out of it. You know, it, it, was, it had a narrow pathway, a narrow like line of fire. They had to all be in a good line. And even if, if you were red screen, you couldn't get bailed out. You couldn't run over a horde with your red screen because they did the little baby zombies did minimal damage that would kill you if you were red screen. So I thought it just wasn't overpowered. It wasn't like a, if you're in a corner or, end, or bail you out every time. You know, your game could end. You had to stay focused. There were multiple uh, routes around the map that just you could, it, it was like a, the map trained for you. You know, people found so many strategies that involved three-fourths of the map, you know, or two-thirds of the map that unlike any of the zombie map, we were just running in circles in one room. The alleyways were so tight that you just had to find the, work out the spawns and use the map and the pathways of the map to train for you. So I thought that was a new step in zombies. Um, I really liked everything about it. I thought the Shriekers were a cool new addition, not too annoying, easy to kill. Same with Napalm. I loved, 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 loved how you could blow them up and kill zombies with that. The map was perfectly fine for challenges. Um, and in general, just an awesome map. And that will land a 10 out of 10 on my scale, obviously, as it being, well, not obviously, I guess my favorite map could only be like a 9.5, but I really thought this map was perfect. I, I, if I didn't think it was, I would have given it a 9.5 or a 9.6 or whatever, maybe just to rank it above Moon. But I really thought they could not have done much better with this map at the time when it came out. It was my favorite map by far. I had the most fun playing it. Um, and there's just so much stuff to do on it, but what's going on in the background here is just a it's actually called the shafted challenge And it's it was by Boista. I did this like last January um, I got I was so lucky to get Jug in the beginning and this is like one of the challenges You just gotta stay in this room and try and get as many points as you can um, So that's what's going on in the background there, but yeah, there it is guys. Shangri-La is my number one. Moon was my number two um just to go round out the top five again for you. Number five is Kino. Number four was Buried. Number three was uh, Green Run or Transit. Number two is Moon. Number one was Shangri-La. So um, Black Ops 2 I thought was better than Black Ops 1. I might as well just throw that in there. And so do my rankings just by adding up the numbers and dividing it by uh, taking the average rank. Black Ops 2 ended up, my map ratings ended up being just a little bit higher than Black Ops 1. Not by much, but... Which stands true, because I did like Black Ops 2 a little bit better than Black Ops 1. But a big part that made Black Ops 2 a lot better was Grief for me. As many of you know, I played that for, God, seven, eight months. Started right at the beginning of the year, so that was definitely awesome. and love playing in those tournaments. But uh, that does it for this video. Um, let me make some shout-outs, see if I can get some comments from... Let's see, who have I... Who do I remember? My Grief teammates. Let's see if we can get a comment from Tryhard. Jeff, even though I don't really like Jeff, um, <laughs> Jeff, Budzilla, and Gov. Let's try and get the original uh, teammates back. Uh, just seeing what's going on with everybody. See if I can get. If you saw this, if you guys are watching this video, comment down below. These that you heard this. That was the team back in the day. But uh, uh, anybody else who wants to comment, let me know what's going on with grief exactly. Um, Firm, I'll give you a shout out. I know I've been talking to him. Um, he tells me it's still going on. Uh, I'd like to see if the tournaments are actually still going on or what's going to go on when. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4, or Ghost comes out, whatever it's called. I'm sure I'll play that a little bit. But that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you later.